Okay, we're getting a tour of the Bullring. It's a privately owned ring. It was started in the 1700s and and uh, finished in 1881. There's the where the bulls come out. Some of the manadors come out of that, and the, only the top manadors come out of that gate. So it's amazingly like the coliseums we've seen last year. Same setup. Even the numbered seats. It's the same. You sit on the stone benches. And they got the portico on top, and they have the shade, those shades uh, to block the sun, except it's got a sunny side and a, and a shady side. The 20 euros for the top of the sunny side, and 150 euros for the shady side. This is the owner's box. The family that owns it sits there. And the president sits here. So, you could just see this thing in Roman times. Instead of bulls, there are gladiators out here. Here's the side of the top of the ring. This is where the president would sit. President decides the trophies that the bullfighter get. He could get uh, ears or a tail. If he gets three trophies, a uh, ear and two ears and a tail, he gets to come out of the special entrance. Cool. This gate over here, that's where they drag the dead bulls out. They come in live on that gate and they go out that gate. The museum showing art of the bullfight. <laughs> Some of these pictures really make it we really make it look gory. If you have any hesitation, these are Goya. Oh, it looks like Goya. See how this is light and dark it balances to so. Oops. This guy got it. Bolt out the mana door. Sometimes the bull wins. Yikes, this guy's taking the skin off. No, he's, no, he's got the sword. Here they're using a lance. Some of these pictures using swords and others using a lance.
just pictures of famous bulls. This is cool. Here's the famous. Sometimes the bull wins. There you go. If you can't find him, jump all around. Bulls are over there and manadors are over here. That's nice. Use this to do the bronze sculpture out in front of the pulmonary. That's probably not the bullfight. Probably she's one of the owners. This drawing is nice. This is, uh, this is the different moves and the different stances. They all have names. School book for bullfighting. Yeah, primer. I know it's kind of like harsh, horrible, but it's interesting. Here's a museum where uh, they have some of the famous bull heads. These are the suits they wear. They're like $10,000 each. Very fancy. And these two guys are the most famous bullfighters that fought here. This one over here, this guy started with when he was nine years old he started to fight cows and 14 he was a professional bullfighter but he got killed at 25 by a bull so we lasted 11 years This is what they stick the ball with during the fight to make them weaker so they could get them with a sword. She said that in the early, early days, the horses weren't protected. So they would lose about 20 horses during a bullfight. Bullfight is six bulls. If you go to a bullfight, there's six bulls with three manadors. So each manador has two bulls. This is the uh, 
little chapel for the bullfighters. This is the chapel where the bullfighters come and say the prayers before the bull, and then they go out this gate into the bull ring. Yeah, there were three uh, bullfighters killed here, one in 1922 and two in 1992. But now not so many die because they have a hospital right on site. So if they get gored or something, they just go right to the hospital. This is the cuttlefish. I think it's a cuttlefish. It's called it's a sapia. We really don't know what it is. It has sort of a... <laughs> it's a squid. But it's a little different from a squid. It has its tentacles. And it has a beak. Like a like a an octopus. Well, it's like a squid. And we're going to just slice it and fry it. And take a look at that. It's a freaking beak. Oh god, it's like a parrot. Hard? Yeah, put your finger in it. Uh, oh, wow. Alright. Yeah. They clean it at the fish store for you if you well, want. Basically, all I did was. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's, a, it's like a beak, like a bird. It's, it's got two. Parts to it. Oops, it's, it's just held by cartilage. Look at that. Let me feel it. Well, it's hard. It can probably break a clamshell or something. There's two parts like that. Wow. Okay, that's a science lesson. That's amazing. So you're just going to basically fry it? I got some it. garlic and olive oil, lemon, mm. and I'm going to just sort of saute it. Saute it. I don't know if you want to eat a snow, I suppose. I don't think we want to eat that part. Well, the, the fishmonger just plain sliced it. So, I didn't see any reason to pay him to do it. I couldn't ask the guy. I wonder if they do it for free. Well, maybe. But the guy ahead of us ordered one of these and had it cut up. But I really didn't know how to ask him how he was going to prepare it. So, I didn't. It's uh, Just like a membrane in there, too. Not really, it's been cleaned. So, huh. alright. Cut it up, fry it up, see what happens. There's the sauteing the garlic. A little bit of wine. She's got garlic sauteing tentacles. A little lemon juice. How are you going to know when you're done? When there's salad. So we got all this more. We got a lot. This could feed six.
See that piece? I think he's, yeah. Well, he he cut that off, I think. That piece. Cut down and do the same thing, so I'll tell you. It's a finished plate. Very nice. Rice with vegetables, cuttlefish, zucchini, little lemon. Perfect.